Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Then let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pops firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. That's you and me. If you would like to become a part of the family, email your resume and cover letter to careers at ccmsclaims.com. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you gonna do when something goes wrong? Just Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Yeah, in fact, we, we look for new people in the industry. Uh, it's not that, it's not that we uh, focus on new ones, but we look for the new ones because quite frankly, the catastrophe life, even daily claims life, it takes its toll on people over the years. And so we need to refresh the industry. We need to bring in more people. We do a lot of videos here on Adjuster TV for new people. This one is no exception. Starting now. You're watching the Property IA Show. Hey, it's Matt here with the Property IA Show on Adjuster TV. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. In this video, part of our ongoing coverage of the 2020 NACA convention and career fair, we sit down with Joe LaFontaine, manager of project operations at EA Renfro and Company, to talk about the resources that Renfro has available to new people who are interested in getting into the claims game. Here's Joe. My name is Joe LaFontaine. Uh, Renfro has been around for just over 25 years. We're really a full service independent adjusting firm. Uh, we handle claims from liability through uh, property, uh, casualty, auto claims. Uh, we're in the flood business and working through uh, the uh, third party administrator model too. So uh, we are definitely expanding our horizons. Uh, the good thing about Renfro, what I've appreciated, I've been with them about 20 years now, is the fact that you're not a number. And that's a big difference. Uh, oftentimes you'd call up to an independent firm and, and you'd introduce yourself or you return a phone call. And it's almost as if you were just, uh, just a part of a role, a roster, but you weren't really a human being. You weren't really a person. And that's what I appreciate about Renfro. When you call up, you hear the same voices, you can build relationships with people, and they care about their people. So what they do is they walk you through the process from beginning to end as a new adjuster, or for the experienced people, you're building relationships, it's that one-on-one -on -one personal attention you get. So that's made a big difference for me, and that's why I've stuck with them for so long. Even though I've been in the industry a little over 20 years, uh, 18 of which has been uh, specifically with that company. I hadn't had a need to go elsewhere. So as far as um, the company itself, uh, one thing I do appreciate about the company is the fact that it's customer service oriented. It's one of the founding principles that we have is it's the customer first. Now granted, uh, they're concerned about uh, the estimatics part, they're concerned about the product we put out, and that's important. But they also recognize that the industry is a little different than it used to be. It used to be where we would write estimates, uh, we would follow through with the insured, uh, my, almost by rote, we climb roofs or we handle claims. But now the industry is more attuned to the soft skills, more attuned to the customer service aspect. So we offer a wide variety of training to be able to help you go through that process. In fact, our training department itself has over 500 hours uh, dedicated just to help the adjuster deal with the customer service skills, uh, the estimatics that we need to have to be able to uh, fully add the tools to our, to our tool belt. Uh, and to be able to walk us through the entire process. In fact, we have curriculum set up right now on Renfro U that'll take a new adjuster from beginning to end in small bite-sized segments so that they understand the, uh, the stigma that's out there and how to get past that, how to get through, what do I do next, and what should I do with a claim from start to finish even into the in-depth part of the construction uh, model and how we handle that, or the auto side, uh, how do you handle auto claim? And so we've got an, a, a tremendous amount of content out there. In fact, Renfro is really known for being the training company uh, in the IA firm world. 
So I've really enjoyed it and we have a great company. In fact, I invite all the adjusters to reach out to us, uh, let us know uh, what you'd like to do and we can probably try to fit you uh, with that role. And so if you're interested in auto or you're interested in flood, maybe you're interested in working hurricanes or just daily work locally, then they call us up, we can itemize that or uh, slot that out for them, find out exactly what they'd like to do, and then when something comes up, we give them a call, talk to them about it, see if we can find that right fit for them. We try to find out what skill sets, what abilities the industry has. And I've always been a proponent of just be honest with me, tell me exactly who you are, and then I can help you. But if you fluff a little bit and say, well, I'm real big in construction, you find out later you're not, and that's a weakness, it ends up stalling the process more. So when new adjusters come to us, we're going, to give them, we're going to give them a lot of information, not the least of which is there are a lot of licenses out there. there are over 30 states that you can get a license in. Don't go license poor. Get the licenses that you actually have to have, whether it's Gulf Coast states or maybe it's in the Midwest or the hail prone states, uh, high demand areas. And then we help them try to figure out what licenses would better suit what they're looking for. Auto is a little bit different than property. Maybe you're looking for daily work and not for cat work. So we'll try to direct them. We have a licensing department to help them with that. But then on a, on a new adjuster basis, we're also saying, okay, so tell me what you do know so I understand where you're coming from. So we go back to Renfro U, our training area. And in Renfro U, there's a curriculum based on your level of experience. So a brand new adjuster has a complete curriculum that'll say, okay, Take these construction basic courses, take these customer service courses. There's testing and training throughout um, and CEUs for a lot of the courses. So we're able to really, uh, really focus on that individual person. And then we can make individual recommendations of different courses they can take. The great thing about it is it's all free on there. So we're going to help train you. Now, we can only do part of it. So for a new adjuster, what we're looking for is for them to not treat this as a job, but treat it as a career. And what I mean by that is outside of the adjusting world, just, just assume that you work uh, one storm and you, you were there for 20 days. Great. That's wonderful. But now at that point, treat it as a career. Go back and, and read books. Go back and go to rent for you and, and learn more. Ask people, ask, call us, what else can I do? One thing I recommend uh, with new adjusters, especially is if you can go to, I don't care if it's a big box store like Home Depot or Lowe's or anything else, open up the Black & Decker 123 or the Home Depot thing, open up those books and just see what processes are out there, see what things happen. Put the book away, go to a local construction site, maybe it's a neighborhood down the road and it, it might be a bricklayer. You walk up there and say, look, Mr. Bricklayer, Ms. Bricklayer, I don't want your job. I'm not interested in that. But I do want to know, as an adjuster, how I can better estimate what you do. Would you mind if I just watch you for a few minutes? And then don't ask a lot of questions. They don't want to hear a lot of questions, but they'll like that. They'll want to do that. And a lot of people will help you. Okay, we do this, we do that. Then if you have enough nerve, say, look, I, again, I don't want your job, but would you mind if I just lay a couple bricks and feel what's going on? And, and once you get involved in that, once you start seeing the process, then things start to click a lot better. And then you talk to the framer, or you talk to the tile setter. By the time you get out there, you have a better understanding of what goes through the con uh, contractor's mind and you can estimate more effectively. You can say, well, but I understand that, but why are the brick ties damaged behind you? Or, or why is the grout cracking over here? You'll start grasping some of these concepts, whether you're involved in that industry or not. So treat it like a career, find ways to augment everything you know, and then keep adding to it. Look at the publications. NACA conference is a great place. You can start marketing yourself, start understanding what's out there in the industry and how, how laws and, and legislation is affecting your world and what it can do. And once you start doing that and start making it a career, no longer a job, then you really start succeeding. It's the people who decide, well, I've done enough. I'm just going to kick back in my easy chair, drink a beer, whatever you do. Those are the people who treat it like a job and they may go out once, may even go out twice. But if you've got those good soft skills, if you're really working and treating like a career, you end up lasting a lot longer. And so Renfro takes that approach with all the new adjusters and tries to help them build on that career model and what they can do to be successful. Not just a number, but actually a person that can really help uh, in our industry. Yeah, in fact, we, we look for new people in the industry. Uh, it's not that, it's not that we uh, focus on new ones, but we look for the new ones because quite frankly, the catastrophe life, even daily claims life, 
it takes its toll on people over the years. And so we need to refresh the industry. We need to bring in more people. And uh, as we continue to grow, and we keep growing every year, we need to bring in new people. We just picked up more carriers, so we need to augment our existing workforce. We still keep our experienced people busy, but we use them as mentors. We also have our own home office group that helps bring in new ones to be able to focus on on how we can bring this person into the Renfro understanding and the Renfro way. Uh, and I say that because it may be a little bit different from a lot of other people. We help with, we help with uh, quality and, and standards that should be in our industry wide, but oftentimes you'll find different firms have different approaches to it. Some are maybe concerned in daily claims or just concerned about a revenue or the, right now, uh, Renfro is part of that group of independent firms that's focused on how we can make better our people, our workforce. How can we build them up and how can we keep them out there longer? How can we uh, support them? And so our whole focus on bringing in new ones is starting from A to Z, I want to build you up and bring you through this process so by the time you get somewhere between A and Z, you really prove to be successful. And granted, we want you to keep working with us, but we also know success means that if there is an event where we can put you to use, we will. But we also want you to be able to take those skills everywhere you go and be able to be successful no matter where. Because we know eventually you're going to come back and say, hey, Renfro got me here. I'm coming back because I, I, I really have enjoyed working with you. That's what's kept me going. I started in the business with other independent firms, but once I started realizing that the culture that's surrounding Renfro, that's what's kept me coming here. The wonderful thing about being here, part of the NACA conference, is it is truly a national association. It really is. It's an association where, as individuals, we can come together, get feedback from one another, uh, both as sponsors and as individuals. For the new ones that are coming on, we can give them some good sound advice to start their careers. A lot of people we have seen um, over this last conference, brand new people, really don't understand what it takes to get in the business or to be successful in the business. So when we meet them for the first time, we help them. We say, look, when you go to the next booth or when you go to the next person, ask them some questions, get some feedback, because this place right here, and NACA fosters this, is the idea of how can I build on what I know to be successful in the future. Now, on the sponsor side, it's great for us because we get to see new people, we get to see experienced people, sometimes we see the same people over and over and keep building those relationships. And really, that's, that's what NACA is about. It's about trying to bring together the community of adjusting world and the insurance world to be able to help build relationships and to be able to foster new relationships so that we, whether it's wanting to keep working or wanting to be working where we live, we can start building that up. And so by having a conference like this that's really focused on the adjusting world, not just the industry world at large, or insurance world at large, it helps us to be able to hone our skills and hone our focus into our world, not just in the, not just in the broader role of the insurance industry. Question of the day, are you a newbie? Renfro loves newbies. Go to earenfro.com now to take the next step. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching the Property IA Show and have a great storm. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Right. This is actually Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.